Hi, and welcome to Adventure All The Way. I'm Phil, this is... Charles, and I'm Pikachu. I'm Pikachu. And we are a home education family in the UK. And this is a sponsored video by MEL Science, yeah. who have sent us the first box of the subscription. Thank you, MEL Science. Thank you. So, you get your free starter kit on your first month of subscription, but, and it's worth £50. So with the first month subscription, you get the starter kit, which Charles has just said, but you also get your first experiment, which comes in a little box like this, and this time we've got tin, and it's got an age range here. And this is worth £29.90. Oh, he's ready. So what's this little box on top? Let's do this first. Oh, sorry. So, just a little black box. And it looks like it is, yeah, it's a VR headset. Yeah. What's a VR headset? Virtual reality. Can I try so, it? So, the idea... I'm going to try it. It's not ready yet. It doesn't work. No, because it's not ready yet. The idea is you put someone's phone here. Mm -hmm. And you close it up with the phone in. And then you can look through these little... Look through here, and I'm sure somewhere in one of these sets it will tell us why we need it. So that's pretty that's cool. That's so awesome. Little. Oh, baby, I can see you in like a world of Pokemon world. Cool. Now we're going to go through the starter kit. What have we got in here? Uh, we've got a book. Okay, so that's probably just got all the information about what's in here. Yeah. We've got a tray. Oh yeah, it's got a very basic yeah. safety instructions for everyone. Survival kit. Some weird rubber, some weird rubber thingies. I don't know what these are. Those are rubber bungs. Oh, we've got rubber bungs. Which are going to be used for the conical flask. Conical. Oh, it's glass, saying. so do Classic. remember to be careful with it. Yay! Well, we got that, most importantly. Safety glasses when we're doing the experiments. And then Pikachu. What else have we got in here? We've got this. Oh, that's a stand for the tablet, so when we're looking... Oh, there's something else. When you uh, get this subscription, there is an app that goes with it. So you can have it out on a tablet. You've got a little stand for your tablet. And it, I think it will tell you everything you need to know about this experiment. Hundreds of cups. And lots of cups. We've got a little burner here. And now, uh, when we're done with this, um, if we wash them out properly, we might be able to use them as proper cups. Maybe. And a uh, mm -hmm. uh, little measuring glass and a big measuring glass. Beaker. This is science. Yeah, Let's use it. Some beepers. We've got a lens here to go on your phone camera, which I'm guessing is a macro lens. Yep, macro lens there. So that's to really zoom in on something close yeah. up. We've got a tiny sieve. Sieve? Or whatever. It's a funnel. Yeah, I don't know what that is. That looks like the top of the burner. So you can place Ooh, things. We've got a placemat. On it, and yep, and a heat proof mat, scientific heat proof mat to place your burner on so you don't burn any of your furniture. Is that everything in there? No, oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, we don't need to take wait, all of that. We've got some foam. Yeah, we, we've got, we got some foam to pack it in. So, this is a box that has everything you need as a basic for all of your experiments. So you can store it all in there. You need to wear your glasses. So you don't need to do it. Well, we're not doing an experiment yet, so I don't need to wear the glasses. Yes, you do. Okay. Well, then, put my glasses on. Good, now you look like a scientist. Ever the safety fee in you. I'm a Pikachu scientist. Yeah, so Are this box... Glasses help me up okay. So this box is a storage box as well as holding all of your stuff. So when you are finished with it, everything you use can go back, back inside. Back in a certain place. It's all got, yeah, it's all got a moulded spot in the, uh, in the box. So you can't lose it. Right, so that's that set, that's the starter set done. 
Now let's have a look at our first experiment, shall we? Yeah. It's M L M E L. What is it? M E L. Yeah. M E L. Chemistry. Chemistry. Yep. Let's open it. So it comes up. Oh. So you get yourself a little box, and as I said, here's the uh, bits for the app. And then it tells you what you're going to need for the experiment you're doing. So, which one are we doing? We're doing the hedgehog. We're doing. Wait, don't do this. Are we doing the hedgehog or the hedgehog tree? The hedgehog, right? Oh, oh my so we're going to do a tin it's hedgehog. Only this one. I don't know. We need to open it up and look, don't we? Yeah, we're doing that. So, what do we need? So it shows you simple instructions on how to do it. And you just follow it through. So we need to prepare the tin chloride solution. Right, so as I said, I'm a each good of, scientist. Very good. Each of these experiment bits has a QR code at the back, just here at the top. So when you load up the app, Scan that. With like your tablet or phone or whatever thing. And it will take you through. So once it's up, there we go. So this is it. Takes you through what you need. Okay, so once you've loaded up the app, it takes you through what you need. So that's the first page. It just simply says, take the, from the starter kit, the macro lens. So we've got the smartphone, clip on macro lens. And you swipe across and it tells you what you need. So we need the bottle nozzle. Is that a nozzle or is that a lid? There's the so we've got the nozzle. We've got the gloves. Pin opener. Pin opener. Is that in here? Or is that too long? Oh, yep, there it is. Um, Can't get it out. There it is. So, just a little paper clip. A plastic vial. That's that. The sodium hydron siphate. Siphate? Sulfate. So, that's that one. That's the little red one. The tin chloride. Oops, is that green? Which is the green one. And then zinc. The tin chloride is the green one, and then the zinc, which is here. Some little balls of zinc. Then, yeah. So we've yeah. got everything we need, yep. Let's not do that. So swipe across the cup. Pour one bottle of the sodium hydrogen sulfate red stuff into, red the, stuff green stuff. into the green stuff. So it's very okay. easy. Oh, yeah. I need so my goggles on. Goggles, and I got my. So goggles. if you look, guys, it shows us. Well, I can't show you any lower because it's. Right. So okay. it's very simple. It's got all the chemical, their actual chemical names, but it's also done in color-coded bottles. So it's really simple for the kids to do. So. Pour the bottle of the red bottle into the green bottle. Huh. Is it going to explode? It's not going to explode. That would be dangerous. I doubt that a, a company would send us a dangerous experiment. Well, it doesn't explode. Should I just squeeze it in? Just squeeze it in. Oh, that's easy. Come on, I'm going to squeeze. So they are childproof caps, so just be careful of that. So Your kid, child might struggle to uh, undo them so at first. Like That's what it says. Pour it into there. It's not working. It's not working. Anyway. Looks like it might have a stopper in it. There you go. 
Oh, I don't want to put it. Hold the bottle. And then squeeze it all in. Oh, yeah, that's what it says. Well, sounds good. I'm scared. Keep going. Yeah. What's bubbling? You can see this in this. That's just down. how you put it in. Done? Okay, so put that down. I'll put a lid on that and then we're gonna put the nozzle into the tin chloride. The green one. Is it in all the way? Yep, make sure it's pushed in really far. Let's just make sure that's in as far as it goes. There we go, that's all nice and secure. Careful. <laughs> now we need the red cap. I've got a red cap. Yeah, put that on top. Make sure it's securely on. Yep, yeah, that's fine. And now we're going to shake it for 20 to 30 seconds. Okay. Wait, is it on properly? Yeah. That's fine. Okay, so... So 20 to 30 seconds. Go. Shake, 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 Fill it halfway up. Mm. Doesn't have to be exact. Open it. Yeah, open. Well, obviously you need to open it if you're going to put something in it. Doesn't work. So I open this. So you undo that cap. Yeah. I'm good at doing like fireproof caps. Yeah. Half. Oh, what's this? Well, I'm assuming that's blocked as well. This. Yep, yeah, pushing hard. Yep, yeah. no, there's nothing in the way then. Okay, so halfway. Yep, yeah, so about halfway. Doesn't have to be exact. Mm. Just be careful, hold the vial if you can. It's halfway. That's fine by me, if you're happy with that. Take one pellet. Right, so put Your the lid on that. Scientist. He is. Put mm. the lid on that so we don't spill it. I'll hold on to this. Yeah, good. And then we need one of them. One of these little balls. Mm, <coughs> it doesn't work. Yes. So Emma has just rightly pointed out that one of the very first instructions is to set the tray out. Don't which is where you're supposed to do all your experiments. Therefore, In case it like bubbles out and like... You if anything like, spills... Yeah. Anything spills, it's not going to go all over your... The can't make Well, if you want to do science, you've got to be safe. Right, so we've got one pellet of zinc. We're going to put the zinc. And you are going to carefully place the pellet inside the bar. How do you carefully place it? How do you carefully place it? Hold the vial so you don't knock it over. And just, just drop it in. And then we're going to start a timer for 15 minutes. Where it, the it tin hedgehog should start to grow. I don't want it to explode on me. Is it going to explode? It's not going to explode. We just had this conversation. So 15 minutes it's going to take. Again, as I said, the uh, timer is on the app. So can I get this in? Can I take my gloves off? Because we're not finished with the experiment yet. Can I put my glasses up? Because stuff is. Like, we're not really doing anything right now. 
Yes, you can take your glasses off as we are not doing anything. I'm just going to put the lid on that so we don't do anything. Oh, okay. So we're going to talk about. Oh, my let's let's have a talk about what's going on. Yeah, I've no idea how it's going to grow a hedgehog. Right, this is what we're going to talk about now. So, do we so the timer is up. Take it out. We're not going to take it out. No, there's no way of taking it out now, other than getting your hands wet. But we're going to have a look at it. So can you see all of those little spines that have grown? So awesome! Show it to the camera. I will try and show it to the camera. I will do our best to get you to see this guy. We've got it to grow a little hedgehog. It doesn't look like the picture on the front as much, but this was probably. Looks cool. This was probably done in a proper laboratory with a lot more delicate equipment and I would imagine looking at it the when the zinc was put in it was suspended rather than just sat on the bottom which is why it, on the picture it looks like it's grown all the way around it. So on the app here it when you get to the end it asks you did it work did it not work so we're going to click it works and then ask you to rate the experiment. So what five. do you reckon? You, you reckon a five? Yeah, that was good? So that was a good one. So it also gives you, at the end of this, some interesting stuff that you can look at. Get that off. So it says, there we go, it worked. But it's also got, so you can have a look at more of what is actually happening. So it's got a scientific description of what's happening. Something interesting about it. And there's a video. And there's something to follow it up with. And there's a video. And it also tells you how to get rid of your experiment when you're ready. And there's a video. And there's a video. Okay, so with this, you also have access to some worksheets. So you can do a little worksheet here. Yeah. And then from all the information you get in the little booklet, the extra information you get in the app, once you've done both the experiments, you can get your child to try and answer these questions. Yeah. Which look like fun. Yeah. Give them a bit more understanding of yeah. what's going on and some of it's a bit of research. So not only are they finding out what's going on here right now and they're having to look through the information, they're also having to go somewhere else potentially and look for some information to answer some of the questions. I enjoy science personally. And I found this was really good, really easy. Uh, it's aged at 10 plus, and Charles has only just gone nine. But I feel like he probably could have done the experiment himself alone. It would just be the information side that he would need the help with. Um, I think it was a really good, fun little experiment. Really good value for money because it's got a lot of stuff with it. The starter kit, as we already said, was worth £50 and you get that free when you start the subscription. Each of the boxes is around £29.90 and, as we said, the starter kit takes you through all of it and it, it's going to be really fun, I think. So we've done one experiment, Josie. What did you think? Uh, I really liked it. I really like the look of it. So you enjoyed doing it? Yeah. So you enjoyed it then? Yeah. Yeah? You want to do some more later? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Would you say that other children your sort of age would enjoy this? Yeah. I think, I think that the waiting part, like, oh yeah, some, like, the last one to, like, Wait it like do the spikes is a bit long, but it is worth it. It's so worth it when you look at it. So the waiting 15 minutes was a bit boring. Yeah, but it's worth it. But it's worth it. Obviously you don't have to, once you've done talking through the information, we didn't have to sit here and watch it. You could have gone off for a little bit and played a little bit if you'd wanted to. You could have like, yeah, you could have like asked your um, mum or dad to like, 
tell you when the time's up you, and then you guys can come back and see how it's gone. Unfortunately with science though, quite often you have to wait around for things to happen. There's a lot of that, as my brother will tell you. He's done experiments which he's had to set up and he's left for five or six hours, maybe even more, to actually finish what they're doing. And sometimes he waits for them to finish, looks at them and goes, oh, they've not even worked and has to do them all over again. So science is a bit hit and miss sometimes. But I'm glad that today ours has worked. We've got a nice little hedgehog to look at. It looks really cool. So thank you very much Emil Science for sending us these really cool science experiments. Yeah, that was good fun. And thank you guys for watching. You can use our affiliate link underneath. If you want to try out the subscription yourself, which I would recommend, it was probably it's well worth it. Yeah, it's, the, the, even though waiting is a bit long, it's so worth it. Yeah. So bye, guys. Bye.